So the media has spread a ton of fake news again. Not like the other day, it was the uh, 18th school shooting in 2018. And this time it's unverified information of uh, the shooter being connected to this Republic of Florida group, this white supremacist group. So the media got trolled by this 4chan group that created the narrative that this guy was a part of this association, right? And ABC was primarily the uh, the people that were, that were in contact with these trolls, and they ate up everything these people were saying, right? They didn't bother fact-checking. All they needed was some comments on uh, Instagram or some social media website that these are their sources, right? So... This is a lot of time why the media doesn't want to give up their sources because it's it's simply this. It's like somebody calls them and say, oh, this is what's going on. And they're like, okay, we believe you, <laughs> right? But if it wasn't for this 4chan group doing this, you wouldn't, We uh, ABC's methods wouldn't have been exposed, right? And that is a good thing, you know, like I don't think it's necessarily good to troll national tragedies, right? <laughs> But at the same time, this does show how, you know, uh, the media just really wants to push their narrative. And they're willing to use faulty information or not to do it. And the rest of the media ran with this story, too, because ABC was reporting on it. So this is how, you know, they often craft their narrative, right? It's They have some faulty reporting like this. And they're not really going to fact check it themselves. They're going to trust ABC. And then they're all going to push it. <laughs> and it's one thing when, you know, all these people, they, they get really mad at, on uh, about Twitter and people on Twitter uh, retweeting false information and retweeting Sam Hyde and retweeting, you know, inconsistent facts. But literally the entire media did this too. Like, they just spread a, a ton of fake news. They did it the other day with the 18th school shootings, all this shit. So it, it just it just shows you they, they have their own confirmation bias. They're not willing to really fact check something that fits into their own narrative. And because they're the media and you can't question their integrity and they're always you know, forthright, and they always tell the truth, and Trump is a is a meanie for always attacking them, uh, you know, we're supposed to believe everything they say, but if, if this is their level of reporting, then we shouldn't believe anything they say, to some extent, especially from ABC, because, like, that's not good for them. <laughs> the other media is going to start cannibalizing them soon, because they've exposed some of their weaknesses, right? And th this keeps getting exposed. There was, like I said before, in another one of my videos, like uh, there's that thing with the missed dates, uh, and it was like ten days earlier they were reporting, and then if about Flynn's interaction or something, they're like, oh, if it would, if nobody checked the dates themselves, they just ran with the story, and then the entire media was made to look fucking stupid because they're all ecstatic they're like oh yeah, this means trump's gonna go to to jail this means the russia the collusion is proven we've proven the russian collusion <laughs> and uh there was like the view the lady on the view like throwing up her papers and she's like yeah yeah like joey Behart or something i forget her name but there these people are so uh willing to do anything they, they can do to to uh, convince America that, you know, white people, that Trump is creating this white supremacist movement that is eventually going to, like, you know, create a lot of deaths and shit like that. So, <laughs> of course, they're going to, any any mass shooting with a white person, they're, they're going to try to find some way to tie Trump, e even if it's not, even if it's just a Muslim. They'll be like, oh, this guy did it because we're mean to Muslims. It's because of the racism that is directed towards them. And if we are less racist, <laughs> then they wouldn't be doing as many terrorist attacks, right? Which which is bullshit. That's, that's not going to do anything, right? But 
it's it's just funny how easily <laughs> these people were trolled and uh you know i think that they did kind of a good thing by doing this to the media because uh, they're gonna uh, they're gonna spin it and be like oh this just shows you the toxicity of these liars and they they fooled us but it makes you look worse because you're the one who bought it right you're the one who who didn't fact check you're the one who just oh really okay i'm gonna run with this you know and this, this is like the leaks in the the trump white house and stuff and we're like oh apparently trump said that you know he's having he's really stressed and he can't handle the job and this is what these sources are telling me you know just some some random dude who who, who tells them this or nobody tells them that that's why they're not going to reveal their sources reveal who's telling them this shit because oh it's just it's just jeb down the street or it's like john who lives two houses down from me he was telling me this shit right it's and like all abc needed to do was check like this guy the jerob guy lives 500 miles from the uh <clears throat> the the shooting so for those students to say that he always seen they seen jerob and the and the white and the the nicholas guy together hanging out walking together it's like why would that jerob guy tra travel 500 miles to just hang out with this like really are you are you serious like obviously like, if they had a brain which they probably do but they're like hmm you know, we're, we're not really, you know, they're going to be more careful now. Now you're going to see them, like, it's going to be harder to troll them, to catch them. But it's 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 still going to happen again, right? These people, they're, they're desperate. They're desperate to prove their narrative. So uh, they're going to be more careful in the future. But I do think they're going to be... Uh, tricked again because this has already happened in the past and i thought oh they're gonna get wise to this but no not really and the rest of the media like i said they just believed abc and then they pushed the fucking narrative and a lot of people believe already believe it like the the white supremacy even if like the sheriff was coming out there's no connections you should see the comments of liberals they're like oh that's bullshit that white that white supremacist sheriff is covering for these for these people and it's like the the sheriff's name is is like israel right? he's probably a jew I'm, I'm sure he doesn't support white supremacy so or white supremacists so he probably isn't covering for them but you know you're not really going to convince those you know extremely partisan people who are already convinced and it doesn't really matter if they think the guy was a white supremacist or not because of the because he was vaguely white they're going to assume that anyways so it doesn't really matter for for their opinions but it really just does expose the media and it also just gave a uh, gab a lot of exposure because a lot of the media they're mentioning oh this this jerob guy was mentioning this on gab and uh this is this is a site where fascists and racist convene and go on right so this is, you know they they put a little jab to smear it but this just raised people's awareness that the site exists so it's this is a streisand effect you you just told a lot of people about it so you're just going to drive a lot of people towards that site now because people are curious right twitter and stuff is getting more and more sanitized over time and people like that to an extent but they also like to argue they like to see some controversial opinions or whatever <laughs> so they're gonna draw, go over to gab more so all, all the media has done is just you're gonna see gab's membership probably increase by at least twofold or or even more and you know this is just gonna be beneficial for them so you know the media is stupid they are easily trolled and because they have this narrative that they desperately want to push it's going to be easy to take advantage of them so you know i i can i uh commend what these people did <laughs> honestly i think it was a a, a good thing and you know it is it, pretty funny right and for all the people that believe this 
conspiracy anyways that he was it's like like i said before they're they're, they're partisan they're not going to change their opinion their their opinions anyways i already believe like Tariq nasheed's like oh you know they're covering up and white supremacy and this guy's definitely in white supremacist don't believe what the police are saying because they're all infiltrated by white supremacists and yada 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 right but but yeah abc the common person the more moderate person that does want truthful news is now going to look at them a little cross-eyed they're gonna be like "Mm, you know you i did like you but you do kind of jump on shit really easily and you re- mass report false information, right? Like I said before, these people, they demonize people who share false information on Twitter, but you guys all did it on a massive fucking scale. So I'm pretty sure you've all broken Twitter's guidelines and <laughs> all these different guidelines. But clearly, you know, we see that not everybody is treated equally under these guidelines. You know, some people can say whatever the fuck they want and do whatever the fuck they want while other people are being censored it's like there's misinformation on both sides but both sides but we get the perception that it's only the right disseminating disinformation because uh twitter and all these people are only going after these people but uh, and being racist right but in reality there's tons of racism tons of misinformation coming from the the, the left right but nobody tamps down on that Nobody, so you, you get the perception that this is not a problem coming from this group, but it definitely is. But uh, that's all I pretty much had to say on the matter. And if you like my content, subscribe and have a good day. See ya.